Okay, I want to talk talk about feeling lonely while expanding. Like I'm attracting like-minded people, but it's like there's a gap. You know what I'm saying between where I'm at and what they know. You know why? Because there's a gap between where they are and their inner being. When you are visiting with someone who's in alignment with their inner being, and you're in alignment with your inner being, there's no gap. That's what rock bands are doing. There's a lot of synergy in sports teams like that because they've got their eye on what they're doing here today. They're not trying to drag everything else into it. They're focused similarly. And most of all, they're in sync with their own inner beings. There's a lot of evidence of that that you feel from time to time. But what we really want to say back to what we think you said, don't work too hard to get anyone to get you. Because as hard as you work and as much as they may want to, nobody can really get you like your inner being gets you. And in the effort to get them to get you, that's why Jesus said, go forth and tell no one. They stood before him dripping in illness. He didn't see their illness. Everybody else was looking at it. Oh, look at that guy. He's not long for this world. <laughs> Jesus did not see their illness. He was looking at this bag of marbles, not this bag of marbles. And because one who's connected to this is more powerful than millions who aren't his influence was powerful and as he gathered up cooperative components he gathered up that person in that moment to be a cooperative component to the wellness that he saw and then he said go forth and tell no one for this reason you try to convince somebody of something that they don't believe there's a high likelihood they're going to convince you not to believe what you believe unless you've had enough experience with this unless you've come to know that when I feel this way I'm hooked in unless you've come to know what alignment is unless you're consciously aware of what your true power is really we're not asking you to spread this message we're not asking you to wrestle anybody to the ground and make them hear this in fact if we were standing in your physical shoes we would go forth and tell no one <laughs> mm. because they're still arguing for their limitations they call what she did a curse and they'll call your abundance a curse they'll call your clarity a curse if you walk on water they'll nail you up again <laughs> because it doesn't fit with their picture of what they've decided is right and wrong so you brought us to something really important and we want to get back to what you're asking about if you can let loose a little bit of looking for right and wrong because there isn't any because everybody gets to choose and instead you can look for the path of most allowance which is also the path of least resistance but it's the path of most allowance the allowance of the whole of who you are the path of most allowance of your empowerment if you're looking for that if you're looking for the path of most love and the path of most clarity the path of most good feeling rather than what's right or wrong you can't go wrong you can't go wrong you could say as a result of what you're feeling what you've been living and even what we've chewed on here today you could say it's my desire to run across more opportunity to visit with people who are in the vicinity of what I know because it's so satisfying it's so satisfying to give them the relief what were your first words the relief of releasing resistance someone very dear to Esther to Esther's sister made his transition a few days ago and Esther was writing with Jerry about it and Esther said I'm not sad in the sad sense we humans make that a more tender thing than it needs to be tender for the people that don't understand and even maybe a little tender for me who does understand because it's a change and Jerry wrote back to her Esther you have no idea yet quite yet the feeling of relief when you release all resistance he said you know that feeling of wanting somebody to get you to understand what you're saying here he said everybody gets you and everybody loves you and you love everybody well don't you just want to be like that in your physical you just want body to be there like all the time. and you can be but it's a practiced mindset and there's a whole lot of things going on that make you feel 
regret or resentment or unfairness or injustice or 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 you just got to work those out one at a time as they come you just got to clarify your own habit of marble gathering and it doesn't take long you're there it doesn't take long but the hard part is explaining it to other people who either aren't asking or who are in a place of really really wanting here's the way we explain it to you all in a way that you really get it step one which is the asking that's the need step one the vibration of it of the question and the vibration of the answer are very different frequencies a problem and a solution are very different frequencies so people that are in the middle of a confusion or a problem or a question you just can't fault them for not getting it because they're in step one don't ask people that are in step one to be over there with you in step three and this is our big ask of all of you don't feel like you have to join them in step one to help them find the answer because when you join them in step one you don't have the answer right thank you i yeah. appreciate it yeah. Yeah. Yeah.